Until the mid 20th century, these Texan beaches were home to the nesting processions of thousands. Emerging from their shattered eggs, small turtles made a perilous journey into the sea, navigating the dark sands and praying gulls with a comically large beak. Now, for the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, their survival rests not on flying predators, but the pollution and environmental conscience of humans. Following the line, an exploration of the Kemp Ridley sea turtle and its endangerment. This placid animal is the Kemp Ridley sea turtle, the smallest sea turtle in the world. Distinguished by its black shell, it feeds on anything from crabs to jellyfish. But only around 7,000 of them live today. In infamous footage from 1946, thousands of the turtles can be seen retreating into the water after nesting, a pilgrimage called an arribada. So what caused this dramatic decrease? Between the late 1940s and the 1980s, only around 700 of these creatures were left due to unrestricted poaching and the harvesting of eggs. Further, boating accidents and gear have left them disabled, like this individual. And though they've made a slight comeback, man-made dangers like pollution still haunt these creatures. Realizing the threat against this species, rescue and conservation efforts are conducted across the Gulf. Injured turtles, strangled by fishing lines or struck by boats, are often housed in aquariums or rehabilitation centers, released into the wild if healed, or kept in safety behind glass walls. Luckily, the construction of state-of-the-art rehabilitation centers are underway, a tribute to the collective and scientific efforts of ensuring the reversal of the Camp Ridley's dwindling population. It doesn't take a multi-million dollar facility to make change. Every one of us can make a difference in order to help these struggling creatures. Each and every empty cup of plastic, or any small bottle, can be disastrous for these animals. Even the smallest amount of trash, as seen here, can be stuck inside of a turtle's mouth, preventing their ability to eat and breathe. So, when enjoying the beach, it's important to look for and throw away any unbelonging litter, whether that be a water bottle, a bag of chips, or a straw in a cup. Every plastic bag that looks like a jellyfish and every string that looks like kelp must be tossed away responsibly. The most integral component in the survival of the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle is our ability to share our environment with these original settlers. Through numerous adversities like oil spills, global warming, and pollution, this species has persisted in existence, and we must ensure that they do not have to face these man-made dangers in the future. From simply picking up trash to volunteering at a rescue center, every member of society can contribute to the survival of this unique and beautiful creature.